Andrew Barry was asked um, why he was sure that Kevin Stefanski uh, was the guy for the Browns. I think we have a really strong, you know, head coach, and um, I think he's he's he proved it his very first year. He's smart. Um, he's good with our guys. He's creative. Um, you know, but the reality of it is like we're all looking to make the necessary changes and modifications to make sure that you know we can reach our goals um, and have a really productive you know 2023. And that takes all of us, right? Like you know, the head coach, he's he's out in front. He's the leader of the organization, and he bears a lot of burden. Um, and responsibility and he gets you know really you know all all the blame when it's not necessarily all him and our job is to make sure that we support the head coach put him in the right environment um, to be successful and it takes all of us it takes all of us and we know we have a good one in Kev. What about his attributes though? What, what, do you, what have you seen in three years to say okay this is the guy that we take? I think his intelligence his ability to re relate to players his creativity and his ability as a teacher. And Scott, those are a lot of the things that um, that you pointed out w when I asked you. The other thing I would say is it's been a while since you've had a general manager and a head coach that they appear to like each other, not not a, not just get along. They appear to like each other. That is usually a good sign for an organization. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think they, you know, kind of cut from the same cloth as part, you know, as far as, you know their philosophies and even their personalities to some degree. Um, you know, when you look at, you know, this marriage, it's it, it, it dawned on, we were talking about it in the media room late last night. I mean, you know, the Haslam's have never brought a coach or a GM back for a fourth season. I'm not sure GM's come back for a third season. So, you know, this is a little bit of a milestone there, which is sad, you know, organizationally. Um, but that's the stability that the Haslam's and the Browns were craving. And, they think they found it with these two guys. And then I think, you know, you need to throw uh, chief strategy officer Paul D. Podesta into the equation. Um, and it would have to, you know, obviously they're not ready to move on from this and they want the continuity and they want the stability, which is why I, I think they're so desperate for it to work because they feel like they got it right. But at some point, then you might have to change your mind and say, we didn't get it right. And, and then you're just starting over again. Yeah, yeah, you need to see more than seven or eight wins in a season um, to, to feel like you have it right or, or to prove that you have it right.